it is the free version, so I'm going to have to try and get that sorted. So, so it's not like 27,000 videos. we just got like a few. Right, so let's have a look at this one. So we've got a 10-sided spinner. It has sides labelled 1, 2, 3, all the way to 10. A is that it's an even, B is a multiple of 5. So complete it. So hopefully, if A is even, uh, and B is a spinner, so what we got? So we got... Why have they done that like that? So in here, so A for even. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. I've got one, three. Uh, no, I haven't. One, three, five. Look at me doing the odds. It's thrown me the completed pack. I haven't put the numbers in. It's just put the number of numbers. So it's a little bit confusing because they just like a four and they've got a one. So B is a multiple of five, so it's just a five. So everything on the outside is like one, three, seven, and nine on the outside. And actually covering everything there, shouldn't it? Right, so the probability of an A, so there are five numbers in that big A block going all the way round. So that's five out of ten, which comes down as a half. Probability B is 2 out of 10, which cancels down as a fifth. A and B is 1 tenth. A or B is the six of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 out of 10, so 3 fifths. Not A, so everything that isn't A is all your odd numbers, isn't it? So that's 5 out of 10, which is a half. And not A and not B. So not A is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Not B is 5 and 10. Sorry, it's, it's everything apart from 5 and 10. So not A and not B is this little bit on the outside, which we actually shaded in before. So that's 4 out of 10, which is oops, 2 fifths. There. Come on, 2 minutes 36, so I've got to be quick at that. So it says, given that A is 0 0.25 and B is 0 0.73 and that's 0 0.17, fill it in. So 0 0.17, I definitely know, is in the middle. So I've done that one. Now A, the 0 0.25 includes this 0 0.17 and people forget that. So that's going to be 0 0.08 there. So 0 0.08 is A, not including B. And then what have we got on the other one? 0 0.73, so that's 0 0.73 minus your 0 0.17, so it's going to be 0 0.56, is it? 0 0.56. Got 7.3 on the, what have we got there? So 7.3 plus the 0 0.08 is... Uh, 8, 1, so I've got 0 0.19 for the bit on the outside there. So I, I did it as the 0 0.73 for B plus the 0 0.08 and took it off 1. Right, so what else have we got at the bottom here? So it says, uh, shade the areas and see what they have in common. Right. Not quite sure what that's asking for, to be honest. So you said, oh, a different way of doing it. If you're happy just doing it like that, I'm going to leave it like that, I think. Because I think this is quite can be quite awkward. Because not A is all that. B is all that. And then you kind of, for and, you look where the overlap part is. So the overlap part is this part there, where they're both included. If it's and, you look at the overlap there. <sighs> Whereas for or, you just look where it's completely shaded. I'm going to run out of time with this one.